take uh, 30 seconds of each other, and when you feel ready, throw you. You ready? Hey. You wish you would have cut my mustache. Yeah. Right? Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> ready? Hit me. Now, you must be honest about these questions, all okay. right? Your answers. When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember? Why do I what? What do you remember? Okay. I remember the small mall. I remember the big mall in Rochdale. Mm, the way you looked at me. That's it? Yeah. You don't remember much then. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. You can, you can do that. You can actually tell me what you remember when you first met me. I remember everything. I remember what how you remember? smelled. I remember what you was wearing. I, I remember your response. I remember how your eyes look. Do you remember how long it was? Do I remember how? How long ago? Was how long ago? Of course I Exactly. Did. Yeah, 25 years ago. Okay. 24 years ago. So do you think exact. I'm going to remember 25 years ago? No. Nah. Next question. <laughs> yes. What do you love about our relationship? Oh, this is cute. Go ahead. After 25 years, I'm still learning more things about you to love. Do you know what I love about our relationship? What's that? The honesty. We could be honest to each other. I think you're lying about that. <laughs> I think you're not being honest, right. but I'm... Why? I don't I just... Leave it alone. <laughs> when do you feel closest to me? When I feel closest to you... Nah, I don't want to answer that. All right, I'm going to answer that. <laughs> I, Go feel, ahead. I feel we're the closest. When we're dealing with an issue with our son, that's when we're the closest. Why? Like? Because we, we tend to think about everybody's reaction with our decision, with how we want our son to do something or not do something, how we want him to be dealt with in situations. Like we, have to, we consider so many things when we make a, de a decision about him. So that makes you feel like that's the closest? That's the closest. Okay. Because we both take our time. We do. I think it's time that's to That's my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, what are you hesitant to tell me? My reason for Having my, why your eyes, well, <laughs> it's not a question, but the reason why I actually put a tattoo of another woman's name on my arm. Okay. You, you're hesitant to tell me the reason yes. why? Yes. Okay. Would you like to tell me why now that we're here? It's been a long time. You need to tell me. Well, I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm any way that I used to really be. You know, I don't, oh, I, know. I, don't, I don't want you to think that my, my hatred is that deep or I would be, you know, that nefarious, you know, that wicked. Mm -hmm. somebody in. to tell you. I'm not. I think I've told you enough. <laughs> Don't you? I've told you plenty. Good. <laughs> Do we have enough sex? Do we have enough sex? You heard the question. Yeah. No. You don't think we have enough I sex? I know we don't. Well, we have sex three to four times a week. Some people don't have sex at all. I still don't think that's enough. That's enough? No, it's not. 
Okay. I think it, it should, should be like before. I think it should happen as often. As it needs to. As the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, of course, but we have a child, and sometimes, you know, I work so hard. But he and rests, though. He, when he's yeah, no, I know, but my thing is, we go to, I go to work, come home. Sometimes I'm a long day, so. It wouldn't Who matter. I mean, sometimes you don't have to participate. I love you enough where you don't have to participate. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I would like to participate. I love sex, but. No, I mean, you would, you would. No, I like we, to you participate. You would get gratification, but I mean. No, if you don't participate, you don't get much gratification. You don't. Really? Next question. <laughs> okay, we scared. I say no to that. You say no? Why? Because it's awesome. Don't. Who has more power in the relationship, you or me? Our mothers. No, it's talking about you I, or me. And neither one of us. It's your mother and my mother. Why? Why would you think that? Your mother's in opposition from my mm -hmm. younger years. Uh -huh. My mother has always been in support of us in my younger years. And now they're both on the same page regarding supporting our relationship. So now you think that they we, both, they're, they're in... They're in sync with us being together. So but what does that have to do with power? I mean, when, our when you and I have a disagreement... We do I, call our parents, yeah. You call your mother, I call uh, my yeah, mother. Yeah, that's true. You know, we use So we'll, we use we'll our both parents. agree that it's yeah. our mothers? Our mothers. Neither one of our fathers. Our fathers don't participate in, much, in anything. In anything, yeah, absolutely. They're just there, right? Like, because we can go through a back and forth and I mean, I don't want you true. to ever feel like you don't have any power, and you don't want to make me think that I don't that have, any, have power, any power. So we don't. We don't even just come to terms think about with it. Yeah, that sounds about right. We do call our mothers for everything. If you could change one thing in our relationship, what would it be, and why? In our relationship, one, one thing. thing, and why? Be honest. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. The only thing Don't that... Don't mention nothing about my hair. <laughs> no, that's not... It doesn't affect our relationship. All right. Okay. Um, why would I change? Truthfully, I like the way we are. I like the way we are. I don't think, not the relationship, like work basis, but that has nothing to do with our relationship. It does affect our relationship, but. Because of the lack of sex. Yeah, I think so. You so see, then it does affect. So you, that's the it, one thing you would like to change then. What? Work habits. Work habits. So I can spend more time home perhaps. Possibly. And it'll help enhance our relationship, I think. But I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that relationship. I think we get along fine. I know we get along fine. We, except for when we're driving together or you work too much. Mm. The one thing. Uh -huh. are, are you finished? No, yeah, I'm finished. I'm just. You're thinking. Yeah. All but right. no, go ahead. Tell me. Tell me. My one thing that I would like to change, if I could uh -huh. change our relationship, it would, it would be a portion of our history. And why? Because it was, it was so, uh, not just, not painful, but it was too, um, it was, it was very complicated to make it through a lot of the situations that we've made it through. Yeah, but if we would have not lived that, we would have not been here today, married for so long, and have the relationship we have. We had to endure what we had in the past. We had to live. We had to be where we were at. We had to go through all we went through. No, I'm not stating anything about regret. 
No, not regret, but, but just changing. No, it would just, we would have. Well, not some of the things the for me, because I mean, I'm. I know. I'm annoying to you. Oh, very. <laughs> and and that's that has a lot to do with me making sure that I make an imprint on you. You know, so but when I do have, leave, you don't have to. You don't have to be annoying to me for me not to ever forget you. Yeah, that's what I think. I've been with you forever. I mean, that's something that I tend to think because of the situations that I went, I was in. Yeah, but if you annoy me, that doesn't make me want to remember you. It makes yeah, me want yeah, to yeah, throw yeah. you out the window and forget about you. No. Yeah. You never forget that you threw me out the window. Next question. Okay. Skip. <laughs> okay. I am, what is it, am I the best sex you ever had? Very much so. Awesome. Absolutely, without a doubt. Okay. Except for that one time. Which time? Tell me. It was random sex? Mm, yeah. Awesome. Random sex is actually awesome. It was, uh... Tell me. There's only one other woman that I've ever compared you to. And it was a girl I met while living in Florida, and it wasn't the one that it you found Mimi? about. No, it wasn't Mimi. Uh -huh. It wasn't the other female you knew about that I was lying to her that I wanted to marry her or whatever. <laughs> it wasn't her. No, it was some girl Men. I met uh -huh. completely by accident. I called my phone, met her. We went and played pool. We went to the beach at night. The next day she came and she spent the night at the house and it was just like ridiculous. And I never seen her again. It was just one time? Yeah, I never I didn't I didn't want to see her again. Because she was like she became too involved immediately with my living arrangement. Oh, yeah. You know? They get too clingy. Yeah, like she went too from attached. the bedroom went to the kitchen, went to the bathroom, you know, then never said. And she just said, wanted to move in. <laughs> yeah, like went to the refrigerator. Ooh, scary. She sat in the showcase living room. Nobody sits there. So that was like a little uncomfortable for me. Okay. But at least the sex was great. Yeah. Do I have to answer that? Of course oh, you do. Okay. Um, what was the question again? Let me just, am I the best sex you ever had? Um, truthfully? Be honest. Okay. Truthfully, I had one time better, but you know, you are really great in what you do and I'm sexually satisfied. But yeah, I had sex, I mean, because it was just random, I guess. It was just mind blowing. Now, I'm not going to speak on it. I've heard the person's name before. That's no. Why. No, no, no. When was it? A long time ago. What's a long time? Um, about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Okay, I know exactly where I was at 10 years ago. Where were you? This is 2014. Yeah. So you wasn't I, around. I was in South Carolina. You wasn't around. No, it was you 2000 said 2004? 2004, 2003. Okay, I was in New York. Where, who was no, it? No, you wasn't in New York. He yes, was already I was. gone. I was in New York, 2004. You were? It was just great for the moment. I was um, feeling frisky. Can I please and have a name? I don't even know. Let's put it that <laughs> I mean, question. you want me to be no, honest. Next question. It was great, though. What are your financial concerns? My financial concerns that we are able to have of fin no, not financial freedom. ability, financial no. concerns. Just, I want to be free of bills. Like, it's impossible, but I just want to be able to have enough money in the bank for us not to be worried about every month of certain things that they're coming up, like the insurance and things like that. Like small bills. We never had an issue with the rent. We never had an issue with you know, like our phone bills Utilities. or anything, but just, you know, like other stuff. Because I feel like if, if I go shopping and I want to buy a bag or I want to buy a pair of shoes that I really, really want, and then I'm going to be like, oh, we're going to be short for, 
insurance or we're going to be short for products. You know, that's the only thing. So I want to be able to have enough money in the bank. I want to be financially set. But okay. we'll get there eventually. I, I'm sure. That's We're working very That's your financial concern. Yes, my financial concern. What is your financial concern? My financial concern is our son. He's had over about seven hundred dollars in his his <laughs> and his little bottle water water bottle his water bottle. Mm -hmm. And we've used his seven hundred dollars. I know. We have to re. That's my financial concern. Him. Cause he you have to pay him back. Cause he doesn't let me forget that I owe him two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I know five. he does. Imagine when he turns fifteen. Then. <laughs> Interest. Yeah, so I don't, I don't that's my financial. That's your financial. Yeah, so we can saying. just pay it back whenever you have instead of buying Gucci watches and pay him back. Okay. okay, next question. Your turn. Ah, that's my turn. Okay. Ah, ooh. Oh, really? Tell me about the time I disappointed you. Oh my God. Okay, let's. <laughs> Tell me. I know about it, but. Let's talk about it again. <laughs> you want to talk about it on camera? Yeah, why not? All right. No crying. All right, no, no, All right. no tears. Go ahead. I'm in a little bit of discomfort, so I don't have to really be distilling okay. on camera. No, but, no. Go okay, ahead. my the one time, the ultimate time okay. that you disappointed me is when it was told to you that I was going to be executed and transported well, extradited to South Carolina. And instead of you awaiting the results of my sentencing, whether it was for me to be executed or whether it was for me to do life plus 30 years, you chose to leave me mm -hmm. while in solitary confinement mm -hmm. that you knew I was in because of another girl and you knew no other girl meant any other thing to me besides sex and okay. we had already decided you had decided for the both of us that we were going to be more than sex because you knew i loved you you've come to terms and realized that you love me and it was disappointing for me to hear from you that I cannot contact you no more. And there is no more love for you and I because I lied to you. Do you want me to answer? No, I want you to answer the question from your perspective. Um, the one time that I disappointed, disappointed you. Disappointed me the most is when um, you told me that you will never lie to me again. And you never told me you were married. And when you told me you got married the first time, um, you told me that it was something like, like waking up and brushing your teeth, mm -hmm. something like that, the explanation you gave me. And when I saw you and her together that night, so happy, so in love, that was disappointing because you had told me something else. And I believed you. How was that? What was the lie? I believed you that you got married because of whatever because issues you, you were married. going through. Yes. And it wasn't. You were in love and you were happily married. That wasn't the case, Mars. Okay. It was, you told me to tell you. Okay. The question said, All right. no disappointment. Problem. No okay. Problem. <laughs> Next question. Yours. Go ahead, it's your turn. Uh, I read that one. Uh, <sighs> We're going to need a drink after this. <laughs> we can, we can stop anytime you want. <laughs> no, after this, we're going to need like bourbon or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> this is like, we should have put a bag of tissue. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what, what do you mean? We have tissue, do we? Because I'm about to. <laughs> 
I'm just here. I just need to put my nose clean. No, babe. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you think is the next step in our relationship? Uh-huh. Mm. Our next step? What is our, what's the next step in our relationship? Just being homeowners. I think so far we have, as, you know, did the first thing, the second. So I think now it's just being homeowners. Having something, um, I would like, you would like a, a condo. I would like a building that I can make money off. So investment property. Investment property. I do not. We're fine where we at. We live in a beautiful place. I love my apartment. But I would like a house or building that I can make some, make some money. Off. You know me. All right. I like income. I like in living off of income. All right. What about you? The next step in our relationship? Mm -hmm. I think well, I, I know. It surrounds. What? You becoming more educated regarding my existence. And I see that it's gradually taking place. Of course. We've been legally married for seven years. We've been living together. For how long? Three years. Three years. So it's, it takes time. It takes time. Well, but I think two, I'm doing very well. Two years, 360 days. Okay. Two years, 360 days. Why? The 11th makes three so years. So why is it 360 days? Because it's not 65 yet. Okay. 65 or another five days will be the 11th. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Who's the, next, who's the question on? Me or you? Me. But, okay. Two years, 360 days. So almost a year. So, I mean, I think I'm doing well so far. Knowing. That's bullshit. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what would you do if I cheated on you? Yeah, let me know. Go ahead. Hit me. Tell me. Tell you don't do that shit again. That's it? Yeah, and don't put it on Facebook. Ah, okay. And what else? That's it. No Instagram, no, no. Uh, <laughs> just so, don't let that shit go viral. Okay. Whatever that, like that Facebook stuff, that social media. <laughs> social That's all media I don't stuff. Want. So, what would I do if you cheated on me? Mm. If you say it now on camera, Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. There that's goes like, your, there goes, there goes your, my freedom. Yeah, alibi, <laughs> everything. Yeah. That's not, no so. perfect murder, no. Okay. I would just be mad, probably disappointed, but. Forgiving? Of course. But. You have, oh, come on. Seriously? All right. You have been more forgiving to me than I've been to you. So. That's very honest of you. It's true. I mean, I haven't been completely like the best wife, but. Yes. yes, you have. The wife is okay. The lover. I wasn't like the greatest lover. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, but I would be forgiven. I think so. I mean, it's just a. F I mean, if Next you had to leave me for Next another. No, no. Let's just talk about this. Now, if you're going to cheat on me and leave me for another woman, that's a different story. I will take you for every penny you got, whatever, whatever. Legally, legal stuff, yes. But you will put else. me through some legal shit? Of course. I will leave you completely butt naked with nothing to take with the other woman. Of course. You and would I will do the child her. thing? You would do the child thing? No, that my son has nothing. Her son has nothing to do with it. But I will gladly take you for everything you have, everything you will ever have, and you will have to work for me for the rest of your life. So, I mean, a fling it's okay, but I'm serious. Oh, I mean, you know, you if there's no leaving me, and I'm not leaving you. Oh, okay, so good. It's cheaper to keep her, so read the next one. 
Give you or the other one? Me, not her. <laughs> it would be very expensive to give you. <laughs> it's gonna cost you. Go ahead. What do I do that detracts you from our relationship? Detract or distract? Detracts, detracts from the relationship. When what do you do that detracts me from my relationship? When you start wanting me to be seventeen again, and I'm not, you wanna do the whole that? I can't do that. I'm a grown woman. I don't do the whole touch me and no, we don't do that. We go to different things now. You did it this morning. <laughs> okay, Th thanks for sharing. But no. You did. You but was you all know, in. Of this course, morning. but I have to Last be in the mood. Okay. this morning. But I have to be in the mood. That's, that's the only thing. You want me to be in the mood? I don't have a switch. It has to, I have to you wake up to it. Switch. No, I don't. Yeah, I not, used to just. I'm have thinking that it's the closed it bed, like closed it. We have a lock on our bedroom door, and you don't close doors in the house. I, I can't. don't understand that. It's like I don't like doors that I close. I don't like doors. All right. If I can have a loft, I would. That's all. Go ahead. What detracts me in our relationship? Mm -hmm. You acting like you are old. I'm not a young girl no more. But that's not true. I mean, but you, that's how I feel. You, you have, like you age. have preserved your life. You didn't get involved with a lot of. You didn't get involved with drugs. No. You didn't abuse your body. No. To the extent that some other young women have, and I mean, you, you're very energetic. But your mainly what detracts me is that your motivation still to this day is money. You use our son as a reason for being that way. You use our ex monthly expenses as an excuse and a reason for being that way. But that's what detracts me in our relationship, that you're still money motivated. And I can't be that way no more because my motivation for getting money would change. That's why I'm so laid back and I don't, that's why I am gonna get the Gucci watch and I am gonna get you <laughs> a big ridiculous bag that I don't know how to really pronounce. You know, that's why that's going to happen. But it's just that I do things in a much slower pace, you know, because I think that I've put my body through a lot. Oh. You know, I've ran my body down. I have to be that way because, you know, my body is going to give up on me eventually. No, and I don't want to. take what I have to give you. If you take what I have to give you. As Next often question. as I have to give it. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> you have to do it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What's the biggest compromise you've made that I haven't acknowledged? Mm. Repeat that. What's, What's the, the biggest, biggest compromise I you've made that I haven't acknowledged? You've acknowledged just about every compromise that I've uh, accomplished thus far. Okay, you want to know mine? Yes, please. What's the biggest compromise that you made? Being faithful. That you've accomplished that I don't acknowledge? Mm -mm. I don't acknowledge that? Not enough. 
Because I got GPS on your phone? <laughs> yes. That's for security purposes. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Sure. I mean, if you get lost. Oh, I'm not going to get lost. I'm 41. I, can, I know exactly where I'm going, <laughs> where I'm at, and who I'm with. Okay? Next question. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is it? Read it. What would make you leave me? Hmm. If you go back to your old ways. And your old lifestyle. That didn't do anything for you. But just got you in trouble. Pardon me. Can I be in opposition to her answers? Yeah, you can. You have to be yourself. All right. Well, I don't think that's true. I, I think know. I know that not to be a fact. It is a fact. But you know why? Because you have a son already. See, if we didn't have children, you then it would be up to you. But now we have a reason to behave. Why we have a reason to be the best and not the worst. And the lifestyle you had before, money and everything, is not something that you can actually afford to give a child. And you know, it's not, that lifestyle is not. So. So? That would take me back to the, the prior question. Oh, no, no, we're not going prior question. <laughs> What is the one compromise that I've made or accomplished that you don't acknowledge? I have acknowledged the fact that you've changed, but, but you, this is a different but question. But for you to state, what would make you, what, what could I do to make you leave me? That, that would make me but leave you. But know you. you know it's a compromise that I made because I can't afford it anymore. Okay, so you, you still. I have acknowledged it. But you still tend to think when I'm either with a, family member yeah. Yeah. that I would be tempted yeah to I mean I, I haven't done it in done anything I know in years and that actually over I a decade love, I love I love the fact that you have changed so much and you have so done why this would for that us be, why would that be something that would make you leave me Mm, if you go back, yeah. But you told me once that way, always that way. So I can't go through a relapse? No relapsing. Not under my watch. If you want to relapse, you can, but you won't be part of my life or our son's life. You can relapse. It's up to you. But if you do... My heart is beating fast as hell right now. <laughs> Don't start sweating. Not good. No, I'm having difficulties breathing. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. Wait, <sighs> I need to answer the question. Oh, okay, what go ahead. What could you do to make me leave you? It would deal with the same issue. Why would it? For me to potentially relapse and end up in a compromised position, you would leave me. That's a lot to deal with when you know what I have against me. You know what I'm up against. So then don't think about it because then you're not going to do it. You're going to continue. It's not about that. It's uh -huh. about just look at the prime example. I'm going to the bank to make a, a business <laughs> deposit and I get a jaywalking ticket. Yeah. I, I, I can understand, but even on the, on the pressure, you should never snap. You should never. I don't. You should not. I don't snap. You always think about what you have and what you can lose, and it I've, should be fine. I've been faithful, faithfully nonviolent for more than 10 years. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Next, next question. <laughs> Let's see. What do you wish had never been a part of your experience, of our experience? My, my, my answer is one word, prison. I say the same thing, prison. Your prison, not. For the record, his prison time, not mine. 
The streets. The streets, yeah. In the back of your mind, are you scared that I'll walk away? No. You have always returned, so I'm not afraid. Are you? Am I scared that you'll walk away? I think you're more scared about what would happen if you did walk away. <laughs> the tantrum? Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's my, my, my turn. Uh, what are you scared to tell me? About some of the things that I've done. Are you? Yeah. Uh, you don't think I will understand? No. I'm not scared to tell you anything. I've always been able to tell you everything. Even when I was unfaithful. So no. What is our biggest challenge as a couple? Set good examples for other couples. That's the biggest challenge. That's our everybody, biggest challenge? Yeah, because everybody looks up to us. Haven't you noticed? Mm. For so many years we've been together, you know, of course, married to other people at once and before. But now that we're together, we were able to get back together and accomplish this marriage that they all thought we, it was gonna fail, it wasn't gonna go nowhere. This is just a, a mirage. You know, it was a mirage then. So all the things we have accomplished, we have a son together. We wasn't supposed to have children. We wasn't supposed to have what we have now. So people look up to us, our brothers, sisters, you understand, they look up to our not lifestyle, but our accomplishments. You understand? So I think this is our biggest challenge. And this is what we have to think about. You know, when we make decisions, because whatever we do, besides that it, 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 it affects our son, it also affects our family members. That was a pretty profound answer right there. I think that our biggest challenge is um, well, the biggest challenge for me in our relationship. Yeah. What would it be? The biggest challenge for me in our relationship is me suppressing some of my sexual fantasies that. Suppressing? Yeah. Why? Because I don't, you offered it and I've rejected it knowing that I damn sure I don't want to. But certain not. things, once you're married, you shouldn't try. When you offered, you know, do, do I want to have another woman in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Do I want, and my thing is I don't, I don't want you to be involved. You understand? I don't want to compromise. Our marriage. Our marriage that way. I would rather get on a plane with my cousins, go to Vegas. And what and stays in Vegas? Up, what obnoxious. happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Yeah, I like to be up See, that's out. something like cool to do. Like, I don't have to get involved. I don't you have see, to that, know. That's the shit. That what? That's the shit right there. What? How? I'm, well, I, I can speak to you uh -huh. about involving myself in a fantasy. Mm -hmm. It's and just a fantasy. The thing is, though, when I speak about bringing it to fruition, you're like, yeah, that shit is cool. Because it makes me think that's some shit you done did. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. So but why I mean, are you so cool with it? No, because I say, you know, what, what are you going to do? You what, Would you rather me not know so you can just do it behind my back and come home and have all this stress because you did something? Because conscious is a conscious. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I mean, I wouldn't want to do it, like, with you and another woman now because we have a child, I'm older, 
I'm not that freaky anymore, perhaps, and I just don't, you know, I wouldn't do it. But I wouldn't mind you if you're honest enough and tell me this is something. It's just a fantasy. What, are you going to bring home, marry her, and bring her to me? No. So it's something that can happen. I mean, let's be honest. If I want to be... You have in, do you have plans on doing something before your big five or something like that? No, not yet. Like, it doesn't, it hasn't come up yet. Like, it hasn't, I don't know how I'm going to wake up one day and be like, oh, I need to have, like, Three dudes at the same time. I don't know. You, mean three I, dudes? you don't know. It's a fantasy, right? That's all the holes in your body, though. <laughs> okay, but we're talking about fantasy. We're talking about fantasy. And that's one of your fantasies. No, 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 it's Be not. But I'm me. saying, no, it's not. Next question. Please. Really? Please. Like see, we're you, being honest. You just devote, you're getting more and more involved in the damn thing. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. All right. You don't want to hear it. No problem. In the time we have shared together, do you have any resentment towards me? Pardon me, it's my question. Ah, so it's yours. Okay, sorry. In the time that we have shared together, do you have any resentment towards me? I said it. I read it right. Do you have any resentment towards me? Not anymore. I have learned to forgive you. I have learned to let go of certain things. And when did you resent me? Years ago. But you told me you always loved me. You resented me as well while you were loving yeah, me? Yeah, of course. I think that's just something that's in the back of your mind. So have you resented me within the past, since the beginning of this year? No. No, I don't have any resentment towards you at all. What about you? The only resentment I have towards you is you not pursuing what we have now sooner because you were my educator, you know? Mm -hmm. You taught me about women. You taught me how to charm and be respectful and, well, not respectful, but you know, the mannerisms and all that, that stuff came from my mother mm -hmm. in the streets. Mm -hmm. But you, um, you were so far advanced in regards to what needs to be done. And I resented you for that. That's the resentment that I still hold. Really? You know that. Yeah, because you were very much aware and conscious about what men should do and what women should do. You knew the dynamic of relationship already. Yeah, okay. And when I presented it to you, you said, I give you my word. No matter what, anytime you call me, I come to you. Anytime you call me, I come to you. Yeah, but it was a sexual thing. Now, it wasn't even a relationship thing. But Mark. this is what you allowed mm -hmm. to happen when you well, not just the older one, but the one with the experience mm -hmm. that that's needed to advance in life. You possess that okay. knowledge. I didn't have that knowledge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you want to go to the next question? Okay, the resentment. Okay, we'll work on that. So you don't resent me. When do I hurt you? Not much when you say you, you're going to leave me if I do this, leave me. You hurt me when you leave stuff open. Open? Like bottles open and stuff? Yeah, the shampoo bottle, you the curtains you leave behind. <laughs> you leave the toilet seat up. I haven't. I've been trying to follow the directions and the rules of you, the household. You wash the dishes, you leave the soap thing open. Oh, sorry. That's when I hurt you? Yeah, that's like, because it's, it's so small. It's small. You know when you hurt me? When you make me feel like an incompetent mother. mother no. And I think I told you this before. Yeah, but you, you know I don't do that. that. I don't do that. Well, that's how I feel. That's when I know that I'm hurting. When you make me feel, you don't say it, but Certain things you do, certain things you say, you know, your body language, it makes me feel like an incompetent mother and it's really hurtful. I do apologize. 
Because you, you know, apologized before a couple of times. Like, yeah, but I mean, I'm doing it on camera now. Okay, so this one counts. It's documented. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. it's, it's, it's historic. We'll put it in. Go ahead. What happened? <laughs> what is it? Read it. Why do you love me? Why do I love you? Ooh. I love you because you make me whole. Why you open your legs? Oh, uh, I didn't. <laughs> like, I didn't. I was just going like this. Go ahead. Answer that. I think Start watching my body language. I think that's why you love me. You do. Because despite what you said Amazing. in regards <laughs> to the sex thing, the sex no, question in here. Yes. You are wonderful. You have learned so much. And I have, I know I've made a lot, a lot of effort in teaching you. And you're amazing. But you make me whole. You that's make me you a better me. woman. That's why you love me? Mm-hmm. So why, why do you love me? Why do I love you? Mm -hmm. After we did say we were gonna leave the whole my my history. Yeah, but we didn't. We touched we every didn't. aspect so and since I loved we did, it. So then since we did touch it okay. after eighteen and a half years okay. of in and out of prison. I'm thirty six, about to be thirty seven. Everything that I've ever thought about having in my life from the very first time that I was incarcerated at 13. Yeah. I've, um, I have everything that I've ever desired in life except for a passport. Okay. So and why do you love me? Because of that? Because you've provided all of those things. I mean, you've actually not so much you provided it, but you've assisted me with accomplishing everything that I knew I needed in my life so that I wouldn't go back to prison, so that I wouldn't be involved in the streets. So I'll make you better? You've perfected my, my understanding of righteousness. I mean, I detected what I needed to do through the course of my last incarceration, which was the longest I've ever had to do. And throughout the course of that time, I've had to think of what would require me to remain righteous, what would perfect it. And the perfected righteousness took you and us having a family. Okay, I can live with that. <laughs> Thank you. And with that... With that? Because you owe me a margarita. I'm going to go get me a club soda. <laughs> because I'm still on parole, baby. I can't drink that. Can't drink that. All right. How do you feel? Nervous or something? No, I feel... What do you feel? I feel like this was one of the best therapeutic sessions I had since for the past two years I've been going to therapy. I actually think I can wean myself off of medication. <laughs> I actually feel Just like for the whole question yeah, there? But, but see, I, I think that I could, but I know I can't because I still went through you the, feel the, the anxiety. Okay. And it was a little depressing touching certain yeah, things. Yeah, me too. I feel a little emotional right I've now. I've seen you getting teary-eyed. Yeah, teary-eyed. I don't. I feel a little emotional, but, it was, but happy. It was, it was strange, though, to see you see you get horny. You see, you teary-eyed now, but I watched <laughs> yeah, you. Don't share it. <laughs> no, I mean, they may not be able to adopt it. They detect it. Of course not. You know, on the camera, but I seen you go through some. The whole. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. The throbbing thing and all that. You went through all that. <laughs> no. Yeah, you did. I know you He's did. so bad. Okay. I'm all feeling right. grand, though. I'm good. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's go and be married. Ah, peace. <laughs> Joyful. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> hey, it's Ashika here from The Skin Deep. We really appreciate you being here and watching this conversation. If you love what we're doing and want to stay in the loop, sign up to our newsletter for special deals, new conversations, and to be a part of our community. Sign up at theskindeep.com slash subscribe. Thank you.